Hey everyone, assalamu alaikum. My name is Addison Castillon and I am a Muslim revert. So I've been a Muslim now for about two and a half years, alhamdulillah. I reverted um, in November 2018, around that time. So it's been, been about two and a half years. Alhamdulillah, these years have been like honestly the best years of my life. I've completely transformed into the best version of myself. My life has completely transformed in the best way. And um, it's just been an amazing experience for me. I actually learned about Islam through the person who is now my husband. So we met in New York City. We were having a shared apartment. He went down the hall. Before that, I literally did not know any Muslims at all. I obviously have heard of the religion Islam, but I had never, ever, like, interacted with a Muslim before. Honestly, maybe in school, like, once or twice. My school wasn't very diverse growing up. But, yeah, I, I, I never knew Muslims. I never knew about Islam. I knew nothing. So he was the first Muslim that I met. Uh, obviously, we were living together, so uh, we saw each other all the time. And slowly but surely, we became friends. So we would hang out. Um, he was living with his friends as well. So we would all hang out, and um, we became really close. And slowly but surely, I started to learn about Islam through him. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And um, at the time, I was a very spiritual person. I did not follow any religion. I never followed any religion growing up. Some of my family were Catholics. But we weren't super religious. I never connected with Catholicism. I never um, considered myself a Catholic. But I was very spiritual. I had studied Buddhism. I was very into spirituality. But I didn't connect with any religion that I had found so far. So I, I, always, I always believed in God. But I didn't really have any way that I was practicing any belief. You know, we would spend time together. We were friends. And I would see him do things like make namaz, make salah, prayer. And I would always be really interested like, oh, what are you doing? What does this mean? It kind of reminded me of a form of yoga or meditation. At the time, I was really into yoga. So I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. I wanted to know what it was. So he explained it to me. And I was like, wow, this is really great. This is nice. You know, it was, and I loved how he did it five times a day. This was always nice. He took time out of his day multiple times a day to connect with God. So this really, I, I like this already from the start. So then the next thing that I was exposed to in Islam was Ramadan. I'm um, sorry, it's so loud here. I'm in India. And um, it's monsoon season, so it's storming outside. But in general, India is so loud. There is literally nowhere in the house that I can find that is quiet. So I'm sorry if the background noise is too much. But um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so Ramadan. Um, obviously, he was fasting for Ramadan. And um, we were friends. And I mean, we were really good friends. Like, we were living in the same exact place, you know. So obviously, we were around each other all the time. And uh, when he would be fasting, like, first of all, I asked him. What is Ramadan? What are you doing? And he told me all about Ramadan, how they fast to practice self-control, um, spiritual discipline, these kinds of things, um, having compassion and empathy for the poor, um, learning, like not focusing on physical things, but learning, I mean, focusing more on spirituality for this month. So I was like, wow, this is incredible. This practice is great. Even non-Muslims should do this. You know, this is really good. So, um, and just being around him in general, when he was fasting and I wasn't, I'm not going to eat or drink around someone who's fasting. So I was like, okay, you know what? This sounds really great. Fasting. I know a lot of people, even on Muslims, they do fasting. It's a great way to practice um, self-discipline, all these things. So I was like, okay, I want to do it. I want to do Ramadan with you. I didn't do it perfectly. Obviously, I wasn't fully committed to the fasting. I wasn't doing it for religious purposes. I just wanted to try it. So I tried my best and I did a pretty good job. I did it Honestly, most days, it was an incredible experience. It was very difficult, but it was rewarding. And it was nice. It was like just the celebration of Ramadan, like all these Muslims together. It was an incredible experience. So then I was like, wow, okay. I really liked it. And um, then after that, slowly but surely, I just became more and more curious about Islam. But actually what happened was I, I was very intrigued by Islam. But then when I started learning more about Islam and kind of doing my research, I found a lot of things on the internet, a lot of things that were just like, that I, I did not like at all. There was a lot of misconception that I found on the internet. Um, I was like, oh, wow, no, I, I do not like Islam. I don't want to follow Islam. I, I don't like it at all. Then I, was, I researched more because uh, my husband, who was still my friend at the time, 
I would confront him about these things. I'm like, what is this? Like, I would find something on the internet that was wrong, either misogynistic or um, like male dominating, something like that. And he's like, this is not Islam. This is culture. This is not the real Islam. People do this culturally. So then I was like, okay. So he, he would give me good sources and help me kind of learn about Islam. He would have such a friendly approach, approach to it that it really, um, his approach was so nice and not forceful and not trying to impose his beliefs on me that I was willing and wanting to learn more about it. I learned more and then I started to realize how a lot of the things that I had found were an intertwinement of culture and religion and not the religion itself. So basically, I would find things online and I would question it in a way that was doubtful, okay? Like I would be doubtful of something and I would question it. And for every single thing that I doubted or that didn't make sense to me, I would find an answer for every single thing that was logical, that had aligned with my previous beliefs, that was like everything I found was such a logical way of life. Everything. I remember like I would find something and then I'd learn the reason for it. And I'm like, oh my God, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Why doesn't everyone do this? You know? Everything that I found was either peaceful, it was so empowering for women. Like, things that I think that we haven't even grasped in the West yet. I'm so sorry for all the thunder. It's so loud outside. It's like downpouring. It's a monsoon season. It's absolutely crazy here. But yeah, it. Um, there's so many things in Islam that we haven't grasped in the West. I feel like people always put the West as this like exemplar of what people should follow in other countries. But... Islam is so ahead of the West in many ways. There's so many things in Islam that people are now just starting to follow. So all of these reasons, I was just like, wow. Uh, there's a, a really famous saying that I like. It goes something like, doubt is the beginning, not the end of wisdom. And for me, this was the case with Islam. So through my doubt, um, I had initiated this want to and this desire to research Islam. I had really doubted it. And I thought for sure, like, I would find things and I would be like, no, I don't like this at all. And through that, I was able to understand and really um, fall in love with Islam, honestly. It's a way of life. It's a beautiful way of life. It has guidelines for every single thing in life. So it's just, I really love the structure of it. Before, um, I was very spiritual, as I said before, but I had no structure or way to follow or kind of show my worship to God or um, connect with my spirituality. I had no way to practice this in my everyday life. And Islam gave me the guidelines and the ways to do so that in every single thing that I do, eating, sleeping, talking, the way I dress, every single thing, I can connect with my spirituality and demonstrate my faith through those actions. So, alhamdulillah, I converted. I finally took the decision. I was like full on into it. I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm going to convert. Oh, I also, before that, I started eating halal before I converted. I took baby steps into it, baby steps. I, I had been vegetarian on and off for the years before. I really, really loved meat, but I struggled. So I struggled being vegetarian. But there was something about the, like, mass production and the treatment of animals that I just never, it never resonated well with me. It never sat, sat well with me. So when I learned about halal and how it's a conscious way of eating, you're aware of what you're putting into your body. You're aware of where your meat comes from. Um, for in order for it to be halal, it has to be treated humanely. There's a lot of these, a lot, it's kind of like free range, um, like organic. It's very, there's a whole thing, a whole list of standards for in order for it to be halal. And all of these things, I was like, wow, this is a very conscious and um, a, a really good way of eating. I really liked the, the thought that I had to put it. And having dietary restrictions, is, I think it's a good thing. I think it's good to not just consume whatever comes in front of you. You know, to think about what you're eating, where it came from, um, all these things. So, yeah. So I converted to Islam. Finally, I made the decision. I was full on into it. I had, um, I was fully confident in what I was deciding in my decision.